This is Cristiano Kamenishi. He was born in Brazil but migrated to Japan where he's now an up-and-coming fighter in the MMA scene. His specialty is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai. Yeah, I will organize a Jiu-Jitsu competition soon. So I need to get some sponsors, some oh. partners. <laughs> oh. Business man. <laughs> Fighting is business. Here he is in action. Knee. Knee. Kick. Out. This knockout became this iconic picture. But before he was a tough guy, he looked like this. Here he is with his mother and father. Cristiano is part of an interesting historical phenomena. In the early 19th century, many Japanese went to South America to escape poverty in rural Japanese communities. Cristiano's grandparents on his father's side were part of this migration. One of the Japanese who came to Brazil was this elegant gentleman, Mitsuyo Maida. He brought Judo, or Kano Jiu-Jitsu as it was also known, to Brazil in 1914. Judo was different than Jiu-Jitsu in that it was both a martial art and a sport. Maida traveled around the world, taking on all challengers in an attempt to popularize his art. Its Brazilianization and its rise to today's preeminent ground fighting technique began with its adoption by Gaston Gracie in 1921. Gaston's son Helio, due to his small size, further modified it to more effectively use joint locks and leverage, and Gracie Jiu Jitsu was born. This art was tested and refined in free fighting competitions in Brazil throughout the 20th century. Maida's great contribution which became an intrinsic part of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, was conceiving the fight as a series of phases. The striking phase, the takedown phase, and the grappling phase, and then developing strategies that helped fighters promote the phase that was most advantageous to them. The effective implementation of this single insight led to a martial arts revolution. Hi, I'm Robert Klein. We're at Axis Jiu-Jitsu Academy, which is one of the best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu academies in Tokyo. And today's show, we're featuring Cristiano Kamenishi, who's an up-and-coming MMA fighter. He's originally from Brazil, of Japanese descent, but he's come to Tokyo to do what many people do, which is bang. Today's show, he's gonna explain how it is that although he's a jiu-jitsu expert, he almost never uses his jiu-jitsu. He never uses his jiu-jitsu in MMA because usually he knocks the guy out standing up. And his favorite technique is the flying knee kick. The beauty of the flying knee strike is it's really decisive. If you land it, the guy is out cold. It also covers a lot of range very quickly, so if you get an Im uh, imbalanced opponent, you can really knock him out. If he's like slightly stunned, you go on with the flying knee strike, he's out. Now the danger is, the guy knows what he's doing, you are vulnerable when you're in the air, so you gotta throw it at exactly the right moment, and he's gonna explain to us how to do all that. But this is what it basically looks like. opponent's head, pull it straight down. By grabbing his head and controlling his neck, you not only control his body, you prevent him from throwing an overhand right and knocking the hell out. You were saying basically you like to do this when an opponent is kind of static. He's like waiting, he doesn't know what to do. Then you go ahead and knock him out. When else is a good time to use it? Or when the guy tries to grab my legs. Ah. You come to his face. Bye. Uh -huh. The other hand comes. Uh, behind you, you, you had. Now I choke. 
<laughs> so that choke will block you out. Yeah. You go unconscious. Yeah. This is a sleeper choke. If he holds this more than maybe five seconds, I'm probably unconscious because he's actually cutting the blood flow to my brain. So it's not strangulation. It's not oxygen deprivation that'll knock you out. It's actually the lack of blood going to your brain that knocks you out. So this happens in jiu-jitsu all the time. People just sleep. Okay. Right, right, uh-huh. Hold your head, come in behind your head. Now I start squeeze. Doesn't take much. <laughs> sure. Film it from this other angle too. Film it from this side. Pull ah. warm. I lift my, my hips up. Oh. Oh man, this is a good stretch. <laughs> Here is Cristiano walking to a fight through the streets of Tokyo. He is with his entourage of Axis Jiu Jitsu in Tokyo. Cristiano annihilates his opponent, but is not given the win due to excessive roughness. His soccer kick to the head was deemed too much. With the next opponent, Cristiano's legendary knee does not work and he is taken to the ground. Unfortunately for his opponent, Cristiano is better on the ground as he shows definitively with this triangle choke. This is your ever so brief insight into the life of a professional fighter. I'm your host, Robert Klein, and this is the art of fighting.